Get your clips and check it out now. Let me just be frank and be clear. I'm tired of you motherfucking entertainers and rappers, everybody in general using this I'm depressed, I'm sad, I'm emotional, I'm gonna kill myself. Basically, see you on the other side, see you at the crossroads crossing. Get the fuck out of here. Most of these entertainers, after they start become hated, they realize the way to the good graces of the fans is to act like they're suicidal and the fans start loving them back again. Because no matter how much people troll online, nobody wants to see these people dead, okay? Now, I, I have a few examples that I won't even name, but low-key, bruh, boom, cut it out too, bruh. I know you got some, you on some drugs, but we all know this trick. Everybody's now humble, they want to be positive, they're sad and depressed, and they want to help other people out. Fuck out of here, I see through it. Now, look like it's Richard Kidd turn. Richard Kidd been having a really hard month, okay? The Uzi situation with him in Philly, okay? Got robbed at his crib, okay? Him and Dex kind of been going back and forth. He's been having a tough month. He's been successful with music, but he's having a tough month nonetheless. Now, He's clearly jumping on this goddamn train because he posted up a message to his Instagram. And by the way, he deleted all his Instagram pictures. That's when you know a nigga's serious, okay? All the Instagram pictures are deleted. By the way, how much y'all want to bet them pictures ain't deleted? That nigga archived all them pictures, man, okay? And this is what I'm going to get to. This is all fucking promo. Now, on his Instagram, he said, R.I.P., which means rest in peace, Rich the Kid, 1992 to 2018. Now, we had the caption that said, thank you, all my fans and family for everything. Man, if Rich the Kid don't knock it off, this ain't no big ball CEO shit. This ain't no, yo, get, this not no Rich Forever shit. This is the press forever shit. The fuck is going on? Listen, Rich the Kid, man, just bought a new car. You're dating a bad bitch. You're having a lot of success in your career. A little clown on the air and ain't gonna get to you, bro, okay? And also, I don't even think that you're depressed at all. I don't even believe that, okay? Personally, I don't believe that. Well, I do believe that this is a promo move. You're using a move that everybody is using to either make an announcement, promote a project, or do some other shit. Now, some people say, well, he's going through label situations. Maybe he's trying to, like, change his name and drop music, and he said R.I.P. to Rich the Kid. He didn't pull his real name, so maybe that's the whatever. Listen, maybe it's a persona change. Maybe he's going to humble up from here on out, but I don't see it. I don't see Rich the Kid changing as a person. Now, secondly... He don't got to change his name to put out music. That whole label situation with 300, that has to do with Rich Forever, the label which Jay Critch and Famous Dex is signed to. Of course, he appears on their like collaborative albums, but his personal contract is on Interscope. He ain't got no label issues with himself as an artist. Why the fuck would he need to change his name? So I got to believe that, listen man, Richard Kidd is doing what all these other niggas do. These rappers are now divas and cloud chasers and goddamn drama queens. And he's basically saying, fuck it, let me um just kind of get something off real quick. Only thing I'm going to say is that I don't rock with you niggas using death. We've seen too many rappers die recently. For y'all niggas to use death as some way to fucking pander to fans or gain sympathy or fucking just manipulate fans however you want. Stop it. Cut it out, okay? Now, if you're really going through some shit... Maybe I have been oblivious to the signs that you've given us, Rich, but from what I know of you and from every time I've talked to you, nigga, you ain't depressed at all. It ain't one of those situations where you're like, oh my God, I got... No, cut it out, okay? Get back on the gram, show off the watch, show off the new chain you bought after them niggas snatch the last one, and show off the new car and keep being rich motherfucking forever, Okay? I don't believe this. This is probably some type of promo stunt, but Rich the Kid don't even look like a depressed nigga to me. Again, I'm speaking probably ignorantly, but listen, until I see anything further, I ain't believing this one bit. This is for us to talk about, sucker or sin, for him to make an announcement or drop a new song. Get the comments, you guys like, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Okay? Wait, man.